Hey Logan, Cliff Trooper here, aka Whenever I Isaac, and I'm going to be going into an interesting challenge here. It's when life gives you lemons. As you may have seen, it's hilarious for being, like, the longest named out of all of them, because it actually wraps over the- okay, that's as far as down as I can actually have that go. Okay, fine. But yeah. So I was gonna say, its name actually kind of wrapped a little bit around the screen. So, that's just kind of, well, it wrapped around the, the list. So, <laughs> those are just kind of hilarious. It's just a weird detail, it's the only one that has a name that long. Now, with this one, it's not really so much a chin- Hey, look over there. We let reach. Kind of. Now we need a couple of keys. Okay. Anyhow, this one gives you the power of being lemony fresh. Because you've got lemon party. You've got uh, lemon mishap. And you have a little extra battery power there to speed it up. So you got the 9 volt and the habit, so you'll be charging this pretty fast. In fact, why don't you just hop over here, please? Come on, hop after me. If you don't, I will be able to shoot you. Here we go. Ah, uh, the perfectly wrong spot for the key. I thought I'd be able to with it, but no. I'm getting a lot of tinted rocks around here. But not enough bombs. If only this was the challenge that started you with Pyro. <laughs> that would be just the ultimate. Not the one to start you with Pyro. That would have been beautiful, because Pyro just gives you nothing but 99 bombs. But you're maxed out on bombs. Oh, finally a key. And more bombs. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We have bombs. And lots of fire. Lots and lots of fire. Now this one only goes to uh, the mom fight, so it's not going to go like super far. But it's one of those things. Okay. Yeah, it could be useful to know later. Bomb for and that? Oh dear, that was a good one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thing is, this early on, I don't really have a shop I can use, but I have access to... Not that one. That pulls enemies to you as well. It's did not... Well, it has its uses, but... I don't know, could that be useful here? Well, actually, I can actually use it. Because there is that out of the way... There is that one out of the way key. I can magnet it to me. So, yeah, okay. Super magnet. The reason why it's not normally as good of an idea compared to the passive item that pulls stuff to you is because it pulls literally everything to you. Not just the... Did I? Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's the that's key I got, so, okay. Always remember, you can drop stuff. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Stuff. 
Stonies are doing their job of being an obstruction. And I am again getting the absolute tonnest of bombs. Bullet reach. Thank you. And goodness sakes. Okay, this is just bomb tinted rocks day. I know, I could be going for a secret room or something, but goodness sakes, the tinted rocks are just calling me. I haven't had that happen quite before. Not one is that many. It's going, yes, bomb us all. Thank you. Okay, that's the key I could have had if I hadn't bombed, but that's fine. That aid is all pretty heavy. Unfortunately, now he's reached that flying stage. Where I just have to do this classic chase. Where he bounces around all over the place. Yes, that rhymes and is appropriate. Always aim for the shadow if you're wondering where a hitbox should be. Interesting point. Just remember that, folks. Hitbox equals shadow. That's actually, you know, it's weirdly prevalent in a lot of other games that involve having to shoot or hit things. Just aim for the shadow. This is taking a while because low damage this time. And he's making an effort of it. Okay, never mind worrying about low damage, because magic and mushroom? <laughs> yes, please. And this challenge has no treasure room, so no, I did not skip one. This is a challenge, not the normal game. Just to point that out there. Sometimes they are the reverse and actually don't have shops, but do have treasure rooms. So you have to rely on the random and not shopping around. I do have a key, but I don't have enough money to worry about a shop. Say that and I get a penny. Just haven't had as good opportunities to utilize my power of being lemony fresh. It's just it's just not lining up. We'll get there. The lemonous green is going. Okay, I'm just gonna have to let that guy just walk out so I can shoot him. You, you just do your thing over there, wander a bit, so you can line up with my shots. Wah! Thank you. It's a shop of... Holy goodness, I could actually take the cursor? I usually don't have that many, but... Bomb. Thank you for putting out that fire for me. It's nice. That's... I mean, I got a lot of soul parts. Just an absolute ton. So this is kind of the... See, that was a good moment for it. Had a huge hitbox, it was easy for them to walk right into it and... Um... You know... This might actually be a good time to play that. Because 
thing is, this is going to be a short challenge. It's not like I'm trying to go for Mega Satan here. In fact, I literally can't. It'll stop way before that. Well, it's not that I absolutely can't. It's just that this... this, this I mean, the, it's so unlikely that I'd be able to do it, because I'd have to find a sacrifice room. Still have a lot of health to play with it. Which could happen again, because I've been getting some very generous amounts of Tinted Rocks. It's like, holy goodness sakes, Tinted Rocks. This is the classic lead the army of, of insects around the room. This is just an absolute army. We know this. Well, to be perfectly fair, it's theoretically possible somebody hasn't seen this room before. Because the thing is, in Binding of Isaac, just the base game, there's so many room designs. It is actually theoretically possible that if you play for months or even years worth of time, you might not see them all. Because random is random. So, and sometimes you get this weird, almost like anti-streak of something. Or it just doesn't happen. That means people have had times where it's just the bad consumable luck, bad just something else. Um, to Tinted Rock or to Explode. I'm gonna blast this and see if it gives me another bomb. It did. I am happy. I mean, the Tinted Rocks are just calling me like crazy this time. This is the most... They justifiably called me because that was Cricket's head. His damage multiplier actually does stack with the hilariously good multiplier of... I really... Yeah, I went through everything that I actually really need to do. Uh, it stacks with Magic Mushroom. Hello, Monstro. Nice to see you here. Would you like to hop up here again? Oh, that was beautiful. That only lasts a limited time, though, so please... Please know that your power of limiting freshness will be limited. I don't know if that means you'll have to have a Febreze. Do you have to switch to Febreze after your power of... Uh, what was the most lemony fresh of them all? Somebody help me on that one. What is the most lemony fresh of all the fresh person? I was the one that started that. I know Taz quoted it in the movie. Boy, lemony fresh, but... Oh, please have that count towards my mount eventually. I know this is during a challenge, but please have that count towards my mount. The Pact. I have a lot of health, but I'd like to keep a lot of health. Oh, was, oh, yeah, those were spike chests. That, that, that's what was up there. So now, if I do find angels, I will be getting the free items immediately rather than... Well, not free. I'll be getting the angel items immediately rather than having to wait until after I... Wow. Never mind. Because cancer is always an awesome trinket. Hello. Power of Globe and Goop, guys. You, you will be just wrecked very soon, because you, you just don't even know. Sometimes you just gotta know the positions that they're usually spawning in. That was a replacement enemy. Still not sure. Uh. Still not sure what one that's from. Is that from Community Remix Remix? Or something else? Ooh, I got another limit party. This is one is unverified. Pretty fly is always fly. I mean, it is pretty fly. Okay. 
Okay, okay, you go right about... No, 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 I want you to die right there, because that's a possible, and I mean possible, location. Yes! That was an excellent one. Oh gosh, that was perfect. See, now I'm getting enough money that I might be able to go to the shop. But yeah, that was perfect planning. Oh, I could have evaded out of it, but it didn't work. That overhead thing. Sometimes trickier to estimate than you might think. It's like, do you have time to get out from under it or not? Often the answer is not. Maybe I should try the curse room again. Because I do have a good amount of, of soul hearts here. I could give it a try. If I don't have enough moolah for the shop, I could totally give it a try. The Hermit? Well, it'll let me open the shop for, for, uh, for free, basically. The Hermit. Oh, it has the Bible. Thing is, in a challenge, that's a very good thing. Because that's an insta-kill at the end of the challenge. So it's kind of just... Like, instant you win. Well, to be fair, it depends on where the challenge is going. If it's going to mom or mom's heart, or it lives, it's it's good to get the insta-kill. If not, it depends. I mean, this is going to be, again, a short challenge. This isn't going to be a long one. Do I want to double... Uh, yes, I do. I, I will go for this also, sometimes whenever you unlock those, you, ooh, infamy. That's projectile protection sometimes. This item can act, this, believe it or not, this is one of the few items in all of Isaac that actually has durability. If you, uh, use it enough, it will actually wear out. But until then, it will keep protecting you. And... Okay, I have a few rooms left to explore to get that that coin. Because I need coinage, please. Well, not much coinage. I need a little coinage. So I will gladly take that Bible. Because instant win at the end of the challenge? Of course. That was point of durability off my infamy. It's best to be able to burn it when you need it. That was a uh, heart. Uh, uh, well, I, at least I have plenty of recovery built up. It's a good thing those guys are random. They don't actually charge at you or anything. Uh, I've already found that room, so... I'll hold on to this bomb for a while. I might blow up another tinted rock with it. Or... I might take a pot shot at the super secret room and hope it's money. But I do have another room to explore before that. Well, a couple, actually, because I also have the cursor. Which I will take if I can't find that coin. I might take it anyhow. Oh, that's, that's cruel and unusual. I mean... This shows that you're really meant to have flight for a lot of these places. Is it worth it? Yes, yes it is. Because sacks give you lots of stuff. Including coins. Now I can buy the Bible. 
I will probably go ahead and check out the... Well, actually, I can also get this... Yeah, do I really want the key, though? Because I'm probably not going to be able to afford another shop for a while. Let's face it, that's probably not going to be... A big probability upcoming next round. Ish. Well, again, this one was kind of low probability, and it worked out. Ooh, good chess. Guppy's paw. Book of Despair. Well, two-thirds of the way to Bookworm. I'll, oh, well, well, I got part of the way to Bookworm. I will get in a moment. Uh, do I want to risk that? And it'll probably shove me into the spikes. I might as well just take that damage and go. So I know where my boss fight is. I have my book fight. Do I wanna... Yeah, I wanna. Because if I can get some more money and come back, I can totally grab yet another soul heart. We'll see. We'll see what the boss drops. There are some things that give you money. Sometimes you get freebies in the deal. It's just the art of the deal. Probably could have tried for a super secret room, but yeah. Pretty junior. Okay, that food started up. That charge started up way too close to me. Wasn't much room to react. Things happen. I like that one being a bit sudden. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, what was I saying about money? Okay, need to check all the walls. Because invisible deals are afoot. Can only be certain after I've checked all the walls. Okay. So I can grab myself a soul heart and a key for next time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm out of here. It's been fun, Floor, but I gotta go. Remember, these challenges are often played before you have many unlocks, so you're probably not gonna see a lot of stuff. But I do got mods, so we'll see if any of that shows up. Oh, yes. This is when not having unlocked the, uh... The coin that can pop out of these, which I think is Counterfeit Penny, which is a very good one is uh, a good thing, because that meant that it had to be money, and lots of it. So sometimes strategically not unlocking things is a good thing. Oh boy. Ah, that got me at the end of its range. That bomb definitely had my number. Still not sure if my number should be 13 or 42. <laughs> Just kidding. It's much higher than that. Ranged. Aww. Oh. Come on. Doc! I, I, I don't want that particular prescription. You're gonna have to take me off. Because 
I'm, I'm having some side effects here. Okay, never mind. Got me in the good stuff. It's, it's working for me now, Doc. We got it cleared up. Get the bomb in a floor full of mushrooms. Nice. Of course, again, might use it some other way. Usually secret rooms and super secret rooms, but you never know. Okay. Speaking of which, if I can get them into the right spot again, that would be beautiful. But most of them are not going that way. Just need to get rid of a few of them. Ah. Uh, oh. Barely whipped. Would have been beautiful if I got a great spot. Whip, whip, wait. Will they line up? Ah, uh, come on. Whip, no. Yes. No. Still not. Have to wait. Yeah, well, it won't be down there. But can it be right about there? Nope, 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 nope. He's just not wanting to be in the spot of which I need to explode him. Okay. You, 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 wait, wait. They bounced off each other. This can be good. Gotcha! I knew there was a good spot around there for it. Now I can just gun down the rest. Wait, is that the super secret? That, that means there'd be a still a spot for over there. Aw, this guy's not gonna be the one. I'm just gonna blow some of them up anyhow. Is that the rest? Okay, there's this guy left. Can he be the one that gives me a doofer? Because there is a thin possibility there is, in fact, two in this room. Because that was possibly super secret. Ah, oh, I detonated a too, uh, too far away. Blackheart, nice. I do have a spare charge, so I can use the power of flight earlier. You know, since that was super secret, I'm just gonna go ahead, line it up with it, and spin lighter bomb. Explode. No, it was not the regular secret room. Thing is, I have seen them happen in that kind of configuration before, so I had to try. I know I've talked about this before, but they can show up in an L-type shape. They're, uh, excuse me, only bordering technically uh, one room, because it's not so much about the rooms they border. It's about the sides they border. It's about the walls they border. So, if you do it right, I mean, if, if it's done right, then you may have a secret room that's bordered technically by one room, but it's one that wraps around. So it does happen. One of these days, I'm going to show it off. I don't know when, but I will. Or have I already? I'm not, I don't remember exactly. Have I shown that off? It's, it's a cool thing to do. Have the amazing wraparound... Uh, secret room. Ah, they were right at me. At least I, at least that retributive strike got him. I got my revenge. Charged exactly the wrong moment. There was no way I could have got out of that one. On the other hand. I have a couple keys, so I can risk not knowing whether or not uh, this room is a library or, or a shop. Good. 
because I still have more shops that I can do so I can use your money for later. Poor Steam Sale. Beautiful, beautiful, I mean, seriously, Steam Sale. I was just wanting tons of money. But that allows me to save money, which is the same as having a lot of money. Because, you know, just like energy, what is saved is as if it had been spent in a better way. Okay, you did. Still have some unexplored rooms. So maybe I'll find a library along the way. Which would be beautiful. Not there, not there. I want you to explode an extra mushroom. Do, 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 do. Playing musical chairs with the enemies. We are max well, it's very musical because it explodes. Gotcha! Nailed. Okay, you guys line up with that one. Okay, you line up with that one. Well, it's not what I was really... Well, I already got magic mushroom. There's a couple other mushrooms, but... Aw, oh, tears down. Disappointing. Well, I can still take a curse room. Okay. All this in a Jira. All this in a Jira. Or the sun card. Hmm, between those two, that's a tricky one. Although, this early on, I think the sun is the better choice. Although... Why not perform both? The sun. Feel everything to me. There... that's where... I could have went into this for free if I'd had a bomb in the right spot. Well, I didn't know until now, so... What do you know? It's not like I could tell exactly where it was... Well, I mean, there's rules, but... There is other spots for it, too. Nice. Okay, this one is telling me specifically I'm going for a library, so I will totally go in. Because I'm two-thirds of the way to Bookworm, and when I get Bookworm, this damage is going to go nuts. I do love how Isaac transformations have turned out. Both uh, in the base game and in modded. Yes, there are modded transformations. If you haven't seen them before, you may over time. Including with me. Because I am a bit of a fan. Telepathy for dummies? How to jump? Bookworm? Why did that take so long? I have no idea. Wait, did it not count one earlier or something? I'm not sure. And can I go to that challenge room or is it sealed to me? It's sealed. Okay, and there's and because the map has in fact informed me that there is no way for me to get it for free, it will either be open or it won't. That is pretty much where I'm at on that one. Okay, I have everything explored that I can, and I don't have any more bombage, so I'll need to go to the boss. Jira's son was nice to do. Be better if I had starter deck. Maybe the next shop will have something like that, and then and maybe next time I'll be able to take both. Full dirty. Okay, my usual spot. For a full dirty action. It's a 
very precise spot that it works out beautifully. So then you have to just barely nudge yourself to the right. Then there's the bugs being summoned, but uh, they're fine. I guess there could be an equivalent spot on the left, but it's just a preference. It's one that works pretty well, but, you know, again, it could be done differently. Am I pulling up? Am I pulling a Peter... Well, no, it wasn't that. It was, am I pulling a Peter Griffin's depiction of Han Solo with uh, listing lazily to the left? Well, no, because I'm listing lazily to the right. It's totally different maneuvers. Although they are similar, grant you. I did not get a normal deal. I got a limbo deal. Okay. Hi, guys. Slows down speed. Eh, maybe. Lock up and curse a plenty. I don't. I don't. Eh, this is gonna be too short for most of that. I mean. I, I mean, I am on caves too, so I'm getting pretty close there. It's, it's not gonna be long. I mean, curse of plenty is kind of an interesting curse. It's that you get more chests but they're ones that you probably don't have the ability to open due to your pickups. It's like, it specifically figures out which ones you got. Now, there are certain ways to synergize that like crazy. If you have, like, zero keys, but you have paperclip, <laughs> you get so many golden chests. And then you can open them all just because of paperclip. Because that could synergize in a very weird way. You do get a very high luck up, though. They ain't, they're not kidding about that luck up. It's serious business. Psst, over here, over here. Toro, Toro, Toro. Come on, charge. Yeah, you know how you, you Thank you. Gulp. I gulped the cancer trinket. That's just beautiful. I mean, if you're if you're gonna gulp a trinket, it might as well be one of the one of the good ones, like the one that just gives you tremendously high tier rate. Of course, as low as it is over, well, I'm not sure if it's the lowness or the lagness. It might not be showing it off well. But also, I just don't have that high of a tier, uh, or that low of a tier delay right now to show it off that high of a tier stat, depending on which way you look at it, because it's, it's meant on, it, it's based on various factors. You got your, your, uh, your tier stat, but then you also have tier delay, which is normally hidden, but with the HUD on, it shows it. Which doesn't mean it's really that hidden, it's just not on your character profiles. I have enough money right now that I, I can totally shop. Plus, again, I had Steam Sale, so here we go. Yes, I could go ahead and use a bomb. Uh, I'm not gonna ID that one. I mean, they show up enough for free. Do you really need to go out of your way to... Wait. I have cursed the maze and didn't notice. Okay. Oh, now I did. Okay, it did not, did not proc there. Ah, oh, come on. I did get myself cornered a bit. I will probably get another limbo deal just because the other odds have dropped. Because it will show up in circumstances where the other deals are not active. It's kind of how you can determine whether you've got a higher chance of a limbo deal or not. So I might consider valuing using bombs to just destroy stuff. Oh no.
those big leaper guys. Th their cross the area agility is kind of disturbing. At least it always is for me. I mean, you got that one otherwise minor enemy that just annoys you. For me, it's the ones that leap right on top of you. Bosses, ironically, that do that aren't as annoying. They usually do it in a nice slower pace that's easier to gauge, or they have more of a tail. But sometimes minor enemies just do, do it so fast, or in a, a situation that you literally cannot, like, prep for it, and then it's like, zip, whack, or just suddenly move to shoot you in the face. Free flies, free flies, free flies. Thank you, free flies. Uh, I'm getting, uh, you know, after all this time, I may finally be getting the hang of the little guys that leap at you. You would appear there, wouldn't you? Of course, I do have access to fly. And I do have some charges lying around, so I can actually get that. In fact, I will. I defy you, your defiance. Similar to what I started with, but not the same. Because we have our knowledge of where the boss is. Okay, you're steering me to the boss. Was there anything in that direction that was... Nah, I don't have the, I don't have the symbols active. And I don't have, like, treasure rooms to worry about, so... Eh. Again, challenges do that to you. They're like, sorry, we don't have any treasure for right now. Would you like to take a rain check on your loot? Toro? Toro? Yeah, that's right. Toro, Toro. Toro, 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 toro. Come on. Over here, you big bull. Oh, you didn't fall. Does a bull not charge? I did, in fact, outrun that whole time. Shooting, shooting, come on, come on. You wanna see me? Nope, you didn't see me! I'm trying to lure him into it. There he goes. There you go, Monstro 2. You know you wanna do it. Ah, oh, double red's always fun on that. I thought I was going to get the limbo deal, and I did. Sandals. I could be encouraged to go with sandals here. Special note, the limbo pool doesn't necessarily deplete in the way you think it does. Uh, I'm still not sure what's up with the luck down. I think it gives you something. But do I want to go for sandals? Because I... I kind of like the amount of control I have now. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let it slide. Because this isn't a very long challenge. And I do have repetitive flight in the form of the Bible. Sandals lets me smash everything, though. But this isn't where that would be handy. Because if this was a regular run, it might actually be handier. Because then I could get, like, lots of statistics over objects broken. But no, it's, it's not that. See? Got a coin. Told you. Got bomb back. Beautiful. I'm not gonna spend the rest of it on it though. It's a nice vault. Wasn't the best vault, but it was a nice vault. Platform. Or 
feel the power of my bigger tears. Well, you shot me into the creep. You are a creep. I mean, seriously, that was... That was a complete douche move. That is totally douche approved. I am not a douche. Therefore, I don't approve. It, it, it certainly shows you that sometimes you get these unavoidable situations, but to be illustrated like that. That one I did take on purpose. It's the easiest way to get them to start exploding. There you go. Blow up for me. I really thought I was going to stand over there again. Do I really need that key, though? Don't know if I do. I have plenty of keys, actually. Something's going to be an interesting improved situation when fitness comes around. Because there's going to be an item that's going to take care of that little problem. Ever want something that stops enemies from doing things on death of any sort, whether it's spawning other enemies or exploding or whatever? There's going to be an item for that. Well, a couple, actually. Because they're adding the stuff anti-birth, so there's going to be uh, Uranus, which adds frozen tears just directly to your character. And there's going to be Freezer Baby, which does the same in familiar form. Super Greed. Really, you had to be that guy. Well, I'm just going to barrage you out. Obviously, your reward is yet more money. In case you're wondering why I'm not the kind of guy that tells you much about the seeds, it's because... Okay, this will be my last floors. So I know. It's because you can't get achievements in seeded runs. If they did that... I mean, if they allowed you to do so or even have it as an option, then yeah. But I don't think so. I mean, I can tell there's some balance in that, and there's some things you can kind of have progress towards on a seeded run. If it's like statistic-wise, but you won't be able to complete the achievement. It's just that way. Okay, now I do have a charge. Whoa! There are some very hushy little flies going on here. And yet, no... And yet, hush is nowhere to be seen. don't know if that's a modded feature or not, or if I've just never seen that configuration before. Because it's still using vanilla Isaac stuff, just in a different way. That's something that uh, mods can do sometimes. More cards appear. I'll take it. This is not the usable item version that converts everything into keys.
I have a charge. Um. Oh, dare I. Uh, that would be very bad to do in the middle of a challenge. I mean, just... Just no. Um, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not using that card. It's a good card for other purposes, but not for right now. Especially not when I'm so close to boss power. And the ultimate win. Okay. Yeah, these guys are in a very bad spot. Again, this is times so it would be great to have some kind of flight otherwise, but I can't release this particular flight because if I do, I won't have it accessible the mom fight for the instant win. Oh, this is a very nasty spot. Oh, okay, got caught on an object, but drill it. The cold chills it. Uh, what was that reading? Chills all enemies in the room. I'm going to use it to use it, because it goes towards my progress on that one. What do I got left? Uh, decently more stuff, in a way. But I'm about to get the win, so I'm good. Wait, I have a ton of bombs. I should bomb. Super secret room? Yes, please. Okay. This is definitely a dark room thing room. It's one of those that you see once in a while, and it's one of those that you get a bit of a trade off. You get some good uh, item. It well, you get some good uh, arts from it. But ouch! Got me on that one. On the other hand, you also have a few enemies to deal with. Okay, that was a serious trade-off. Okay, so let's hunt for regular secret room, shall we? Because, again, I've got some bombage, and I'd like to use it. Could be here, but I'm thinking it'd be the one over more effectively. Yeah. As long as it's not blocked. I was gonna say that seemed a little off to me, but... If it works, it works. Better hold on to one just in case. Yeah, it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. But it was serious bombage. I mean, thank you, and just cause. Again, some things will still progress, they just won't finish. So I think the number of, sh of uh, NPCs I blow up is still ticking. Was there anything else to explode that I... Oh yeah. I knew there was. Of course there was. I want a pair that's close together for my final blast. Is that too much to ask? Just one more boom before I go. Because I have but one bomb to explode so one more thing with. Uh, not skulls? I mean, it'd be a chance for a... Uh, uh, I could blow up that and some rocks. 
Yeah, it'd be it's a nice chance for crawl space, but is there anything left in here? Out of, well, there was bomb pH. Well, I have, I have. This is a good time to trade a key for a bomb. Normally, not a good idea. And a key for some extra health. Yeah. I take the risk. Yes. Free flies. And there's no way I'm getting in there. Free flies have succeeded. Okay, so the best thing to blow up right now is a combination of skulls and rocks. Because always try to get more than one thing with your bomb if you can. Especially something significant. Rocks are at least significant because crawl space. Tinted rocks always, so. I know I'm not going into the big room right now. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Just for the sake of thoroughness. I didn't explore everything on the previous floors, but. only have so much reach. Dodging. Oh, that would have been much better to explode. Oh wait, I do have another bomb. Hey, can you swallow this bomb for me? Thank you, but no thank you. Sorry. Okay, this is as much as I've got. But at least I'm going to get the insta-kill. I was just wondering if I could do something greater. The answer is no. So I'm going with this because there's not going to be much point looking out for cards anymore. Out of the way, and... Boing! I got a deal. What's this kind of deal? Cursed map. I kind of like that one, but it's just kind of funny. that. It okay, this is just for examination. Nod leaf, I don't have something, well, I have something that kind of works with it, but not really. The mustard flasks are a nice thing from the Silas Mod. Book of Revelations is good. Conehead is okay. But nothing that really says I should finish off with Boss Rush. You know, it's uh, kind of, uh, it'd be nice if it happened in some other situations, but I'm good. I'm good with just taking the trophy. Hello. There we go. Card Against Humanity. So, yeah, I got myself a nice unlock because that, that is, uh, some may know that card can give you a ton of stuff in a lot of circumstances. Please use in Giant Room. Uh, but yeah, for now, I'll be logging off. Hope to hear from you later, and bye for now, everybody.